Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to track multiple text layers created with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. First of all, let's click on Track Camera and wait for the analysis to complete. Once it's done, I will create solids and cameras in the exact spots where I want my text layers to be tracked. For example I will place one here and another one over there. Now select the text tool and create your text. Since I have two solids, I will create two text layers. Once the first one is done, toggle it off and then create the second one. When both are ready, we can toggle them off since we no longer need to see them. Now create a new solid layer and name it element. Make sure the size matches your main composition, then click OK. Drag the element layer above all other layers and apply the element 3D plugin to it. Next expand the custom layers section. Go to custom text and masks and set path layer 1 to the first text layer you created earlier. Now click on scene setup and wait for the element 3D window to open. Inside the element window, click the extrude button to turn your text into 3D. You'll now see your first 3D text. To customize its appearance, go to the presets tab, select physical and choose a preset you like. You can further refine the look by expanding the extrusion model section. Click on the bevel or text model to adjust settings like extrusion depth or overall size. Once you're happy with the result, click OK to exit the element window and return to AE. Now we have our 3D text, but it's too small and not tracked perfectly. We can fix that quickly and easily. First select the solid layer you created for tracking and press P on your keyboard to reveal the position. Copy only the Z position value. Then select the element layer, expand group 1, open particle replicator, and paste the Z position value there. Next go to particle look and adjust the particle size until the 3D text looks just right. You can also fine tune the X and Y positions to place the text exactly where you want it. Once you're satisfied with the position and scale, toggle off the track solid layer since we no longer need to see it. Now preview the video to make sure the text is perfectly tracked. As you can see, the tracking is spot on. You can now repeat the same steps for the second text to create another fully tracked 3D element text. There are several ways to create the second 3D text using Element 3D, but I will show you the easiest and most efficient method. Duplicate the element layer and rename it to stay organized. Under the element effect, click reset to restore all settings. Scroll down to custom layers and change path layer 1 to the second text you created earlier. Then go back up and click scene setup. Inside the element window, click extrude and adjust the text style as you like. Once you're done, click OK to return to AE. Now let's fix the second text tracking and position. Start by selecting the second track solid layer, press P to reveal its position and copy only the Z value. Select the second element layer, and paste the Z value into the position Z field. Adjust the particle size under particle look. If needed, expand rotation and tweak the X, Y, and Z values to rotate the text properly. Then adjust the X and Y position values to place the text exactly where you want it. Once you're done, toggle off the second track solid layer and check if both texts are tracked accurately. That's it, we're done. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.